Okay. Um, this is the MC10 graphics tool. Um, you can record little pieces of data, um, graphics, mm, all kinds of stuff. So, let's see, like, uh, So you can draw any picture on here by clicking. I'll give you an example. Um, a for next would be if you click that for next, say and you click, say this equals sign, any point to any point, it'll it'll put um, characters through one point to another point, except it has to be from basically from left to right, and it also can be. Uh, more than, you know, it can be more than two lines. It'll just follow memory. So as long as you know a little about how the memory's laid out, you can put some lines like that. Okay, next is the, uh, it automatically goes back into regular mode, which I, used to, I usually refer to as poke mode. And if you go like this, this will just poke or place these on the screen wherever you put them. And then after you do the poke stuff, you have to click uh, create strings. It places that data down there. Then um, Test out switch font mode. Nothing on the screen. So maybe. Yeah, I don't think I have that correct yet. Yeah, I don't think so. But you can switch font and place these over there, but you're gonna I think you have to switch it manually. Switch back. Okay. That's another feature I actually want to add. It's not a very difficult thing to add, but it is since I haven't done it for a long time. <laughs> okay, let's see. So now we're just doing regular mode here. Goals. So for next. Technically, you won't even see it happen. It'll be so fast. Okay, I created strings. We'll add a long delay before it ends so we can look at it. And then we'll just uh, loop it all. is isn't really looping at all. It's uh, ending it. In this case, well, it will be ending. All we want is the data. We don't need the add code to run data unless you want to run it in basic. So right now, we'll say select all, copy, go to a notepad, paste it in, go back to notepad, and we're going to open up a machine language version. And we want the code from uh, 
anything less than a thousand all the way up to zero. Save as. We'll call this test. Okay. Now, what what basically what that is is that um, it that program created some data lines that basically refer to certain kinds of functions which I've duplicated in assembly language through BASIC, MC10 BASIC, which is kind of interesting. It's like, what? What'd you just say? Yeah. So I'll show you exactly what I mean, which is L print is not there. That's good. And so we open up this and we quick type test in then we run run that I didn't clear the screen um, now that that's ran or run, we will create an executable, which, if you look here closely, it says TASM. You make sure that TASM is in the same um, folder as lprint.txt goes, and, you, and make sure lprint.txt is deleted. And in 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 the emulator's uh, parent folder, so then we got tasm dash sixty eight dash x three dash b lprint dot text lprint dot bin, and that's what it's always going to be until you you know rename it after you're done with it if you like it. So we enter that. Now we have the that's converted to uh, executable code which I've already got set to load uh, in the uh, parent directory of the emulator lprint.bin and then it's going to load to 20,000 set executable to 20,000 or the execute address and then we hit OK it's loaded and now first I'll go let's see first I'll go CLS and then I'll go down here to the bottom I think or maybe right about here and we'll just go execute and then there's a long delay and then it comes back so now that's with the delay if you remove the delay which is in basic by the way it'll print that out instantaneously all of it, it seems instantaneously anyway and uh, so yeah, that's a good example. I'll show you some others I've made, which is like um, here's a promo. one of them and then it 
Let's try this one. Oh, this one I converted yesterday. Um, and you'll recognize it. It's an old one, totally done in uh, assembly, machine language. <laughs> it's uh, Arctic Five or Adventures of MC Ten Little Man. And one thing to remember is that this code is not quite optimized, but it's it's an interesting proof of concept. Plus, there are optimizations that can be introduced that can probably reduce the size by maybe two to three times or, or more uh, just by simply creating the code more efficiently or designing it more efficiently. be continued. That's that. So that's another example. See? Nothing. <laughs> it's all in. <laughs> it's all uh, in machine language. Uh, let's see. Now if I go back to uh, show you a few others that I've done, which are under L prints. We'll start with uh, L print. syntax there. I don't think this one, yeah, that one's not working right anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, it's one of the earlier ones that I did. How could there be a syntax error? Anyway, so two, there's no basic in it. Intriguing. It's probably writing to the wrong spot. I th actually, these were, there were some flaws. There, it's fixed now, though. There's a face. And like I said before, you could set these up to run instantly or incredibly fast. This is that one fixed a bit. It's not totally fixed there either. So we don't need to go through that one. You have such control with this. You don't have to write this out in agonizing CHR dollars and looking up values and all that stuff. You just select which font you want and click it to the screen. It's very easy to do. that one actually spells four words in four corners except uh, anyway it's apple ball 
I was supposed to say cat and dad, but it didn't work out that way. Anyway, and then uh, six. Oh, that's the one I just showed you, I think. Yeah. So, I just showed you that one a little bit earlier. Then now, so that's going to be 7 is next. Let's see which one 7 is. Really? Okay. 8. That is the uh, this one running correctly all the way through. Um, and that's it for now. But basically anything that you can do in uh, in this can be you can create an executable with. And uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, I think I showed you the process pretty good. Any questions, let me know, and we'll see you later.